Coming on Thursday, uh, my guests in this segment are Lee Lambert, who is a CEO, also Andrea Pratt-Smith. She is founder of the Bahamas Agile and Project Management Community. Hello to both of you. Welcome to Be on the Headlines. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for having us, Janique. Absolutely. Nice. Yes, absolutely. My pleasure. Lee, if you could just look right there. That, sure. Yeah, that's you right there, Lee. Let them see your wonderful face. Um, so let's just talk about, first of all, what is project management and how has it changed over the years? Well, Lee, you want to take that question? Yeah, I'd be happy to I, because I've been there for most of the years. Uh, it uh, has gone from what at the time was a hobby for people technical people like engineers and architects it was a hobby now it's a profession so we've converted it from just something you did in your spare time to a full-time job where the as you mentioned earlier lucrative lucrative opportunities yeah I I'm, I became aware of the term somewhat because I know that recently there was a push uh, for in in the word in the project management but as it relates to real estate and that is when I understood, too, how just amazingly rewarding and lucrative it is. And so with this, though, um, outside of being the project manager for a major construction project, et cetera, you were saying, Andrea and Lee, that it has now become so much more. Yes, it has, Janique. Well, project management has really evolved to encompass not more, way more than just your typical construction project manager. And a lot of persons don't even realize that project management and project managers work in so many different fields and so many different industries. Do you have persons who are working projects as um, in the medical field, in the educational field, you have them in tourism, you have them in um, every industry in the Bahamas, there are project managers. We may not use that term, term yeah. but they exist and they are performing the duties of a project manager. And to take it one step level, one level more, project management is now encompassing every aspect of life because I just delivered a presentation to the PMI New Orleans chapter and I explained to them how your life is a project and if you can see mm -hmm. your life as a project then you can implement the tools and techniques that we as project managers have in our arsenal and that we use on a daily basis. Yeah, it's really, really wonderful. Uh, let's talk about how the Bahamas Agile Project Management Community is explaining, making itself available, and in equipping Bahamians to tap into this relatively untapped industry. Yes, that's a really good point. And to give you some background about it, the Bahamas Agile and Project Management community came into existence from June 1st of 2021. And presently, we have over 600 members, a part of our community. We're a community of practice, and we are free. I repeat, free community of practice that has a global presence. Mm -hmm. And we're making ourselves known in the Bahamas because we realize that we want to capture a person's attention and let them know how viable this industry really is and how wide the scope is reaching and how much opportunities there are as far as employment and continued education. Give us an idea of, of areas now that a project manager is present or, or can even create that kind of position for themselves. Well, Project management from the traditional waterfall aspect of it has evolved into what we now call agile and agility. And what agility covers is Scrum, you have Kanban, you have so many different frameworks that have evolved out of agile. And I am actually an advanced certified Scrum master. And what that means is that instead of us planning the whole entire project up front and then we start execution, we work the projects in small incremental sprints where it's two or four week sprints and the project delivers feedback to the customers in a quicker time frame so when you're dealing with complex projects that are always changing which we know is a lot of different things that isn't just standard everything change and you have to be able to pivot and be agile about how you work these projects and so scrum has provided us with that platform by being the framework where we can always learn from continuous feedback and shape our product into what the customers really want. Because Shanique, at the end of the day, nobody wants to start working on a product that you work on for a year, two years, and when you bring it to market, the customer doesn't want it anymore. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to have that feedback from your stakeholders and your customers to know that what you're working on is actually something that they will use and they want. Mm, sounds really good. And, and how have you, you have over 600 members, 
how have you seen the transformation uh, among Bahamians um, in terms of tapping into what is a burgeoning country? We, we see different different opportunities making themselves available, but I guess only if you're aware you can actually take advantage of them. Well, you are so correct, and that's why I'm here tonight speaking to the Bahamian populace to let you know that the Bahamas Agile and Project Management Community exists. We are a global community of practice that is free of charge. We meet monthly on the last Thursday of every month virtually, but now we're expanding now that we are hopefully past the COVID era that we can now have in-person meetups and we're starting with our first hybrid meetup on this Thursday coming at the University of Bahamas and it's being held in conjunction with the American Corner and the College of Business. So we're inviting persons to join us, come and learn about project management, come and learn what's going on in the international community and how you can benefit from being a part of this lucrative industry. Absolutely. Now let's talk about Thursday's event. You just mentioned it. Let's talk about Thursday's event, the time, and what's on the agenda. Well, Thursday, we're meeting from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock at the University of Bahamas. Lee Lambert is going to be our keynote presenter. He's going to speak about agile and project management, and is there really a difference? And coming to bring our opening remarks would be Senator the Honorable Michael Halkidis. So the minister is going to be present, and we have some time allotted where we can actually network with persons who come to this event and get to know exactly what your questions are about the field because we have Lee Lambert who has been in this project management field for over 50 years and he has a wealth of knowledge. He is a PMI fellow and he's coming just to speak with Bahamians to let us know how we can take advantage of what's going on in the global arena. Super. I was about to ask that. Neil, Neil how doable is it for Bahamian project managers um, to, to up, tap into what's beyond these borders? I think the, the opportunities are endless. Uh, I'm on a world tour right now uh, promoting project management. just came from Africa, which has very similar situation as we do here in the Bahamas, where they, they have tremendous needs but no real awareness of what can be done. And so uh, I'm trying to spread that word and I decided, well, the Bahamas are probably as bad a case as, or as good a case, depending on how you want to look at it, as any place I can find. So this is our opportunity to sort of get uh, the locals, if you will, aware of what the possibilities are. Mm, super. Now, Thursday's event, of course, starts at 6 in the evening at the University of the Bahamas. How can people, though, get in touch with your organization, Andrea? Um, and, and, and obviously register, become a part of, and, and so that they are more aware, equipped um, among fellow project managers and that kind of thing? Well, it's very easy to get in contact with us. Our community of practice is listed on meetup.com. That's M-E-E-T-U-P.com. Once you go on meetup.com and you search Bahamas Agile and Project Management Community, you will see our upcoming event and soon to be our future events. And you can just sign up whether you want to attend virtually because presently we have 73 persons sign up to attend virtually because like I said, it's a hybrid event. And we have a ticket tailor link where you can secure a free ticket to attend in person. Okay. And Neil, what can they expect from you on Thursday evening in terms of what else you're going to be talking about? Well, I spent a lot of time talking about the concept of project management, but the key to that is uh, effective communications. So I try to expand that topic a little bit so people understand that it provides a, a basis for you to communicate from, but your, your ability to communicate effectively will determine their success or failure. I thank you both very much. Uh, Andrea, excellent opportunity to expose uh, Bahamians because we see the different industries that are emerging in the Bahamas um, and, and we must know how to kind of get in on it, even as a project manager. And so it's good that you're bringing this Training this high, training this high-skilled network opportunity um, from uh, out in the U.S. and elsewhere um, through the Bahamas Agile and Project Management Community, and of course, uh, good luck with your event um, on Thursday evening. Thank you so much, Anika. Thank you for having us. Absolutely, my pleasure. Once again, um, that event, the Project Managers event, being put on by Bahamas Agile and Project Management Community, of course you see Andrea right here, uh, happens on Thursday at University of the Bahamas, and all are welcome, eh? All are welcome, and get involved, man. Explore. This is the year to explore it all, make it happen. I thank you both very much.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay exactly where you are.